Alright everybody, welcome to another review here. Um, I got a request to test the software called Malware Destroyer. So I went and grabbed a copy of it. It's uh, 40 megs here. It's made by EMCO, I would say. EMCO software. Never used it before, so um, I'm going to install it here and I'll be back after the install is complete. See you in a second. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> EMC Malware Destroyer has uh, installed and I downloaded the latest updates for it. It's kind of got an interesting, it's got the available signatures right here, so you can check out all the signatures. Scanning results, startup programs, history, quarantine, you got some settings here, as you can see it scans for everything. <clears throat> Additional scanning, history, rules. What else here? You got scan now, statistics, management, live updates, help, and all that. So let's check out, see what kind of, uh, see what kind of memory we got here. If it runs in memory. This might not be an on-demand program. And no, it's not. Okay, so this is going to be an after-the-fact program. Okay, this is going to be an on-demand, <clears throat> an on-demand test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the PC infected, and then I'm going to do a scan with it, and uh, from there we'll see what it finds and removes. So instead of let's just get the PC infected here real quick. Seeing as it's got no protection, it should not be a hard thing to do. I never used Malware Destroyer before, so I didn't know it was uh, an on-demand program. But hopefully, I'll find some of these things, and maybe I can, maybe I'll add it to my arsenal of uh, on-demand scanners. I'm a, I like on-demand stuff. I don't like stuff running around in my computer just using up <clears throat> memory when it's not needed. That's why I personally stayed away from uh, A squared, uh, even the free version, because it runs a service. And I know you can turn it off and all that stuff, but I don't see it I, that it's needed, especially if I find, you know, two or three really good scanners. I probably have a better detection rate anyway, using two or three different programs. And I also like Malware Destroyer's interface because it's simple. Um, I like simpler interfaces. Yeah, it's nice that you know some things you know make it look pretty and all that, but pretty just means it takes more RAM. And that doesn't mean that it runs better. Pretty doesn't mean that it actually is better. As you can see, we already got some stuff that's been uh, messed with. say that one's dead. Okay, so now that we're nicely infected, let's open up Malware Destroyer here, and I will do a full scan. So, I'm going to pause the video while this is scanning, and I'll be back. Okay, so the scanner actually finishes pretty fast. Um, and uh, it did find one, two, three, four, five different things, so that's good. So we will uh, 
execute, even though I should say delete. As you can see, it's quarantining right now. doing now. So it has the removal engine. It's only got 12,405 signatures, so it's not it doesn't have a really huge signature engine. Okay. So we do have the latest ones. We'll do one more quick scan here. Scans don't take long says it takes under one minute. As you can see, it actually scans pretty fast. I don't know how it can scan so fast. It doesn't scan every file. And it still found those again. Unless, of course, it has a problem removing these pieces of malware. If I scan again, I shouldn't find them again. Alright, it's the same ones. If it finds them again, I'm going to try a different way. I'm going to try to delete them. I've never used this program before, so I'm kind of learning as I go. And yes, it has. So I am going to... remove well it's getting kind of constantly annoying so while that's doing whatever that's doing of course my home page has been changed I'm going to download malware bytes here. Getting pop ups, of course. Okay, so actually, I have to reboot. So let me download malware bytes, install it, update it. And then I'm going to reboot. When it's done rebooting, I'm going to do a quick scan with Malwarebytes and we'll see what's been left over. So I'll see you after Malwarebytes finishes its scan. Okay, so I went to restart the computer and uh, as you can see, the computer is dead. So whatever's on this machine uh, definitely really killed it. So I'm going to try one more manual restart, but I doubt it's going to work. Oh, maybe. Let's see how far we get this time. Yeah, yep, yeah, and it's stuck again. There you go. So I'm going to say that malware destroyer pretty much failed because it didn't clean up the machine enough to keep it from not working anymore. So that's it for this review, and I'll talk to everybody later.